I don't wanna let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't wanna let you down I don't wanna lose you now Will you stay even when you want to walk away when time Hello team it is Sunday the 2nd of January and it's currently 5 past 3 in the afternoon and I thought that I would do like a cozy afternoon reading vlog with you um possibly going into the evening as well a little bit like a day vlog but it's already the middle of the day <laughs> Um, I am trying to read my first book of the year and I have chosen to go with On a Night Like This by Lindsay Kelk. This is the dust jacket. I am already part way through it. I started it last night and I got to page 124 so I am quite a ways in and basically we are following a woman called Fran who I think she might be in her early 30s. She might be like my age. I think she's like 32 or something if I remember correctly and um yes yeah, she is she's been with her partner Stu for the last 12 years and basically they are engaged but they are having a little bit of trouble and Fran ends up getting a job offer to um work with this celebrity she has to sign like NDAs and all this lot and she thought it was just going to be in London it's basically for five days she thought it was going to be in London but it turns out that's not the case and she's now on a ship on her way to Italy because this celebrity has to go to this um, crystal ball is it called? Yeah the crystal ball um, where she's performing essentially this celeb and because she's a singer and uh, Fran is her PA. Uh, so Fran goes with her to this crystal ball at the moment we're still on the ship on the way to the crystal ball but the whole point in it is that Fran quite literally bumps into a handsome American called Evan a man able to keep his cool in the face of chaos the magic really begins Evan makes her a promise no last names no life stories just one unforgettable night wearing a designer dress and drinking champagne Fran is a million miles from her ordinary ordinary life yet Evan belongs to the crystal ball and Fran is a gate crusher they may be so mates but their homes are an ocean apart and lives world apart they'll never meet again unless on a night like this everything can change forever so far i'm really enjoying it it's going really well i'm loving being back with Lindsay's writing style i just forgot how funny she is um i love the friendship that these two characters have built up fran and juliet uh, which is the celeb and their relationship is great. I hate Stu <laughs> Who is Fran's partner and I'm really interested to find out who Evan is and where that's gonna go So I'm very excited to continue on with this book and find out more about what's gonna go on So I am hoping to finish this today. That is my plan. Anyway, I would really like to finish this today um, I have we're on page 124 and there are 300 and 42 pages in here so you know we've got a ways to go but I am hoping to finish this today it's doable so long as I can get off my bloody phone and stop being distracted that's my whole plan I've currently got Jade on in the background while I do some reading so we're going to try and smash some of this out I've got like 55 minutes of a sprint with her so I'm going to try and do this 55 minutes and I'll come back and let you know how much I managed to read of this. So, without further ado, let's get into it and see how much damage I can do in 55 minutes. about an hour later it's four minutes past four and I have done some reading so this is where I was up to 124 and I'm now on page 212 so I managed 88 pages in that 55 to an hour minute sprint um and 55 to an hour minute sprint 55 minutes to an hour sprint <laughs> pardon 
um, and I have about 130 pages to go. So, really enjoying this. Evan has now um, appeared and we have met him and their meet cute was really good and I enjoyed it. I do find that it might be a little bit insta-lovey, but to be fair, Lindsay's books have kind of always been that way. I will say, Lindsay's books have never been particularly smutty. Um, the sex scenes do fade to black pretty quickly and um, they are more so about the character development of the main character that we're following, not just the main character but some of the side characters as well and I do love that about her books. They do cut quite deep and I do love that about her books uh, and I love the characters in general as well. Angela Clark and Jenny Lopez is one of the best friendships I've ever seen in a book series and I adore them with the whole of my heart. That's the I Heart series if you've never read it. I would recommend. Um, but yeah, I am really enjoying this so far. We have met a new character called Rachel. I loved her. I do hope we get to see her again. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed her character and yeah, Fran and Evan are now hanging out at the Crystal Ball and we're gonna see what happens. I kind of really like Evan. He's offering to show her around the crystal ball and how it goes, etc. I don't think he realizes right now that she's a gay crusher, but he's offering to show her around. He knows that this is her first time and he's made it pretty clear that he is happy with this just being very platonic and um, it basically being a case of showing her around, having a good night, and then at the end of the night, they both go their separate ways. So I'm excited. I Enjoying it so far. It's great. I'm having a good time. So I am going to continue reading this one for a little bit longer before I make some food. Um, maybe I can get to like the 250 page mark-ish. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm going to carry on with this. I'm going to stick on... Who should we stick on now? What time is it? Okay, we should do like another hour, I reckon. Um, do I have another one for an hour only? nada um i have a couple from ashley that are like 30 minutes so we'll stick a couple of those and i think and then later on tonight i reckon i'm probably going to put becca's pomodoro sprints on um and read with those i think so we're gonna stick ashley on and continue reading for a little bit longer before i make some food so i will check back in with you in a little bit and uh, yes, if you did wonder how I knew so quickly that Ashley had a read with me, I do have a read with me section that I have set up playlist where I have different peoples. Got my rat bag several times, Zoe, Little Book Owl, Smash. You've got many, many different ones. And obviously Becca's Pomodoro Sprints, Olivia. So yeah, we're going to stick this one on from Ashley. Hey cutie. almost a week <laughs> and I'm here to wrap this video up um, 
I had no idea I'd film this video. Obviously I did when I was filming it, but it's been a while since then. Um, I've been back at work. I haven't filmed much else other than Winterween for the week that I'm currently in. And I totally forgot I'd filmed it. So I've come to the computer to edit a day in the life vlog that I knew I'd filmed and also my best books of 2021 that I knew I'd filmed so that I can have those filmed and up, edited and uploaded, ready to go. And then I realized that there were some clips missing from my day in the life vlog. Pulled my SD card out the, the camera, put it in the laptop, found the clips, and then realized there were way more clips on this camera than there should have been for Winterween. It was a whole, this whole vlog. <laughs> that I completely forgot and had filmed. So that's awesome because it gives me another video. Um, the downside is I don't know how where I'm gonna upload this video. It's fine, you're now watching it, doesn't matter, I've obviously figured it out and it's up. So um, I did end up finishing on a night like this. I'm just gonna put the picture here because I the book is literally there but I can't really go and get in it. Today is very clearly, I look like shit. Today is very clearly a lazy day. I was supposed to be filming and editing today um, but I had my booster yesterday and I don't feel very well and now my battery's dying naturally. So I am just editing a couple of videos so that I can chill for the next couple of days. I'm hoping to possibly film tomorrow. We'll see how that goes, but I'm editing a couple of videos just so that I can, up, you know, have some videos uploaded ready for next week. And then I was going to spend the rest of the day reading. Um, and then spotted this so it's an extra video so i need to wrap it up because i didn't so i did finish on a night like this i gave it four stars it was fantastic i really really enjoyed it it's not my favorite from Lindsay. um i think all of Lindsay's books pretty much all of them have gotten five stars from me this one did get four excuse you this one did get four um but that doesn't mean i didn't enjoy it because i did i really 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 enjoyed it i loved being back with Lindsay's writing style she really knows how to write characters i love that she her character development all the way through all of her books is outstanding um so i really did enjoy this one i loved fran i loved juliet i loved Evan, Rachel and Jess, which were the main characters. Really enjoyed all of their characters. I loved Fran's character development and the way she becomes just a complete freaking badass all the way through the, the book. Um, and I just really enjoyed how this one wrapped up. I really, really liked it. It was very, very good. So yeah, I had a great time with this one. It gave it four stars. It was very good. I would recommend it. Very excited for Lindsay's next book, which comes out in November, I think this year, 2022. So yeah, and this was my first book of the year. So it was a good book to be reading. Not a favourite, but it was a good book nonetheless. And I really enjoyed it. So I hope you have enjoyed this little cosy spend the evening slash a week later I wrap this up reading vlog um and <laughs> I shall see you in the next one bye for now